to respond move on, Vice one President time Harris. To what he president has said Trump, this times. is now your yes. third time running for president. You have long vowed to repeal and replace the Affordable Care Act, mm -hmm. also known as Obamacare. You have failed to accomplish that. You now say you're going to keep Obamacare, quote, unless we can do something much better. Correct. Last month, you said, quote, we're working on it. So tonight, nine years after you first started running, do you have a plan and can you tell us what it is? Obamacare was lousy health care, always was. It's not very good today. And what I said, that if we come up with something, and we are working on things, we're going to do it and we're going to replace it. But remember this, I inherited Obamacare because Democrats wouldn't change it. They wouldn't vote for it. They were unanimous. They wouldn't vote to change it. If they would have done that, we would have had a much better plan than Obamacare. But the Democrats came up. They wouldn't vote for it. I had a choice to make when I was president. Do I save it and make it as good as it can be? Never going to be great. Or do I let it rot? And I felt I had an obligation, even though politically it would have been good to just let it rot and let it go away. I decided and I told my people, the top people, and they're very good people. I have a lot of good people in this, that administration. We read about the bad ones. We had some real bad ones, too. And so do they. They have really bad ones. The difference is they don't get rid of them. But let me just explain. I had a choice to make. Do I save it and make it as good as it can be, or do I let it rot? And I saved it. I did the right thing. But it's still never going to be great, and it's too expensive for people. And what we will do is we're looking at different plans. If we can come up with a plan that's going to cost our people, our population, less money and be better health care than Obamacare, then I would absolutely do it. But until then, I'd run it as good as it can be run. So just a yes or no, you still do not have a plan. I have concepts of a plan. I'm not president right now. But if we come up with something, I would only change it if we come up with something that's better and less expensive. And there are concepts and options we, we have to do that. And you'll be hearing about it in the not too distant future. Vice President Harris, in 2017, you supported Bernie Sanders' proposal to do away with private insurance and create a government run health care system. Two years later, you proposed a plan that included a private insurance option. What is your plan today? Well, first of all, I absolutely support, and over the last four years as vice president, private health care options. But what we need to do is maintain and grow the Affordable Care Act. But I, I'll, I'll get to that, Lindsay. I just need to respond to a previous point that the former president has made. I've made very clear my position on fracking. And then this business about taking everyone's guns away, Tim Walls and I are both gun owners. We're not taking anybody's guns away. So stop with the continuous lying about this stuff. As it relates to the Affordable Care Act, understand, let, just look at the history to know where people stand. When Donald Trump was president, 60 times he tried to get rid of the Affordable Care Act. 60 times. I was a senator at the time when I will never forget the early morning hours when it was up for a vote in the United States Senate and the late, great John McCain, who you have disparaged as being, a, a, you don't like him, you said, at the time because he got caught. He was an American hero. The late, great John McCain, I will never forget that night, walked onto the Senate floor and said, no, you don't. No, you don't. No, you don't get rid of the Affordable Care Act. You have no plan. And what the Affordable Care Act has done is eliminate the ability of insurance companies to deny people with pre-existing conditions. I don't have to tell the people watching tonight, you remember what that was like? Remember when an insurance company could deny if a child had asthma, if someone was a breast cancer survivor, if a, if a grandparent had diabetes? And thankfully, as I've been Vice President and we over the last four years have strengthened the Affordable Care Act, we have allowed for the first time Medicare to negotiate drug prices on behalf of you, the American people. Donald Trump said he was going to allow Medicare to negotiate pr drug prices. He never did. We did. And now we have capped the cost of insulin at $35 a month. Since I've been Vice President, we have capped the cost of prescription medication for seniors at $2,000 a year. And when I am President, we will do that for all people understanding that the value I bring to this is that access to health care should be a right and not just a privilege of those who can afford it. And the plan has to be to strengthen the Affordable Care Act, not get rid of it, Vice Fastest President Harris, thank in terms you. of where Donald Trump stands on that. I want to move to an issue well, that's important for a lot of... You made a mistake. At number one, John McCain fought 
Obamacare for 10 years. But it wasn't only him. It were all of the Democrats that kept it going. And you know what? We can do much better than Obamacare, much less money. But she won't improve private insurance for people, private medical insurance. That's another thing she doesn't want to President get. People Trump. are paying privately for insurance that have worked hard and made money, and they want to have private. She wants everybody to be on government insurance where you wait six months for an operation that you need immediately. President Trump, thank you. We have another issue that we'd like to get to that's important for a number of Americans, in particular younger voters, and that's climate change. President Trump, with regard to the environment,